here I have the Hoya variable neutral density to filter. Now, what a variable ND does is allow you to have more control over your settings when you're shooting video or photo, especially in brighter conditions. Now, this particular variable ND has a range of 1.5 to 9 stops of control. Here I have a 3 stop, the 6 stop, and the 10 stop kit. And then I have the variable ND. So it's basically all this rolled into one. Now, since this video has started, I have not had any type of ND on the lens that I'm using. So basically I've been stuck around f16, f22 in order to get the right exposure. I'm shooting with the Fuji X-H2S at 4K24. So that means my shutter speed needs to be double that at 1 48th of a second in order to get the right natural motion look. This is just a quick break to showcase why frame rate and shutter speed is so important. Using my kid's little spinner toy. Uh, so it is at 4K24, 1 48th of a second, f5.6 and 1250 ISO. So let's give that a spin. And you can see that, that natural blur, that natural motion look. And this is with the variable neutral density on. All right, now I'm taking off the variable neutral density and I have to bump up the shutter speed in order to get the exposure right. So it's looking like I have to be around about 1 to 50th of a second. Uh, at 5.6, ISO 1250 still, and let's give this a spin. And there you can see it almost looks like the toy isn't even spinning. You don't have that natural blur, that natural motion. And since I'm shooting F-Log 2, the lowest my ISO can go is 1250. So that means my f-stop has to be around that f16 to f22 mark. And ideally, I'd want my aperture around f4 to f5.6. And that's why you need a variable ND. Now this variable ND has a nice aluminum frame that's still slim to help prevent vignetting. It also has little markings on the side here to let you know what density you're at. And it comes with two control knobs. One has a spare and one that screws into the side of the filter so you have better control when rotating the filter. All right, now I'm gonna throw this variable ND on. Now I'm just gonna shift it over to f5.6 and then just adjust the variable ND till I get the exposure correct. And now I'm at f5.6, shutter speed is 1 48th of a second and ISO is 1250. Now here is a shot at f1.4 and you can really see that shallower depth of field with me in focus and the background blurred out. So as you can see with the variable ND, you just have so much more control of your settings when shooting video. But on the other side, you have a lot of control when shooting photos as well, especially when you're looking to get those nice long exposure shots. Okay, so that is the Hoya Variable Neutral Density Filter. So make sure if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and pick up one of these filters. It's a huge necessity when shooting photo or video.